UNI's wrestling program is ranked in the top 20 nationally, but their quest to the top of the Big 12 will be without one of their top wrestlers, at least for this season. Local 5's Jake Brand has the story. Colin Realbuto's journey to this wrestling room has been a long one. Originally from New York, he didn't start wrestling year-round until his junior year of high school. Usually, that doesn't lead to a Division I program, but still, he ended up at Brown University, but after one season, he took a gray shirt year to train in Wisconsin and look somewhere else. While I was out there, I felt what I loved about the sport, and I felt like I was growing again, and... I didn't feel like I got that from Brown, so that was what made me be like, I need to transfer. I need to find this. This is what really makes me happy. Colin ended up at UNI and has been one of the Panthers' strongest wrestlers over the past two seasons. He became a two-time NCAA championship qualifier and had a marquee moment, knocking off eventual national runner-up Sammy Sasso early last season, playing a part in UNI's upset win over Ohio State. Our team showed up that day. We really showed up. I mean, that's a program that has a budget of around $70 million. We don't have a budget anywhere near that. And we went out there and we took it to him and we beat him. As electric as he is, Panther fans aren't going to be able to watch Real Buto wrestle this upcoming season, at least not in the purple and gold. Real Buto will be training for the Olympics with Team Italy. The Olympics is the highest level of competition you can get for wrestling. It is the pinnacle of wrestling, and it only comes around once every four years. So the NCAA is more than accommodating and says, you want to go chase this great thing, this, the highest level of achievement that you can in your sport, we'll give you a year to do it. The process to compete for Team Italy was complicated. His grandparents were Italian immigrants, so his family was able to apply for citizenship through them. But part of that process was living in Italy, with his brother for a few months during his gap year between Brown and you and I. We had a gentleman that was there helping me because I can't speak Italian. Uh, it was helping me and my brother with the language and just with all the bureaucratic processes. Now that he has citizenship, Realbuto has spent his fall training for the spring qualifying events, bouncing between his home of New York, a camp in Azerbaijan, and right here in Cedar Falls, where he'll still have a year as a Panther after the Olympics. I want to get as good as I can for this year to not only accomplish my goals of reaching the Olympics and doing all of that, but also for coming back the year after and being at that much higher of a level to do even more inside the NCAA. We're pushing him, helping him, trying to get better so he can get on that world podium, you know, and he's pushing us at the same way, you know, he's trying to, he's still in here helping us out every day. We're helping him out, whatever we can do. You know, it builds, you know, it's great exposure for our program. Real Buto will have two different chances in the spring to qualify. He's got the Europeans in the last chance event. He'll need to finish top two in either of those events in his weight class of 65 kilos to make it to the Paris Games. In Cedar Falls, Jake Brand. Both my Italian grandparents have passed away, but I couldn't imagine how happy they would be to see me competing for Italy. Um, it's amazing. Local five sports.